In this section, we're going to talk about common sound quality and dropout issues that you might experience. So the first um, reason for sound quality and dropouts is a low battery. So you'll find that when the battery gets down to the low range, when you'll see the yellow light flashing on the device. So there's an LED on the phone clip that tells you uh, normally it's flashing green and then it will flash yellow when the battery is getting low. And when that happens, you may experience some sound quality issues, some intermittency in, in the person's uh, voice if you're on the phone, and you may experience altogether dropouts of the signal. That is a sign to charge the battery. So it's a good idea to think ahead if you're going to be uh, on the phone a lot during the day or if you're listening to music all day long, you need to make sure that battery is good and charged so the signal is strong. Another reason for uh, sound quality and dropouts is interference. So it's important to note that the cochlear wireless accessories operate on the 2.4 gigahertz platform, which is an extremely robust platform. It's resistant to interference. But on the flip side, because of that robustness, it's a very common platform for consumer elect electronic devices. So anything from Wi-Fi routers to cordless telephones, um, microwave ovens, almost anything that's actually wireless is probably operating on the 2.4 gigahertz platform. And because of that, there's a lot of signal bouncing around in, in a typical home. And for example, in my home office, I have a, a cordless phone, a Wi-Fi router, two laptops, a uh, wireless printer, and maybe a couple Apple devices all in the same room transmitting on the 2.4 gigahertz platform. So I do experience some intermittency in that situation, and it just means I have to get up and move out of that room to make sure I take my phone with me so that the signal doesn't, isn't lost and it doesn't stay in that inter interference zone. But once I step out of that room, then the signal is crystal clear and uh, everything seems to uh, work fine from there. Another reason for um, sound quality and dropout issues is a blocking, an actual physical blocking of the wireless signal. So this is pretty straightforward if you think about if you're, if you're wearing the phone clip on your shirt and you're talking to someone and you, and you cover the phone clip for whatever reason, the signal will drop out to your processors. Um, but what you may not think about is what we call a head shadow effect. And that is if, you, if you're wearing the phone clip, let's say a woman and you've got a, a strapless blouse on and you have to wear the phone clip over here uh, to the side, and, you t and your process is on the right side, if you turn your head, you're now blocking the signal with, with your head, and you may lose the signal on that right ear. So it's important to think about where you place the phone clip. If, you, if at all possible, you want to keep it in the center, especially if you're bilateral. Or if you've got one processor on the right side, it might be always a better idea to wear it over on the right side, keeping in mind if you get too far away, then the person that you're speaking to using the phone clip might have trouble hearing you. So it's a bit of a, uh, you know, you have to think about it a little bit, but you want to make sure you have it in the right location so you don't get that head shadow effect. So don't block the signal with your hand or other body parts, and you should be okay. Sometimes when uh, talking about sound quality or dropout issues, uh, the, the customer is actually talking about the person on the other end of the line when using the phone clip can't hear them as well. And there's usually a common reason for that, and that has to do with the orientation of the phone clip. So the phone clip has a microphone channel in there that actually makes the phone clip microphones directional. And it's important to make sure that the phone clip is pointing towards the speaker's mouth. So depending on where you need to place the phone clip um, because of your clothing or you know, what you're wearing, you may need to use the, the swivel clip to change the orientation a little bit. So if you wear the phone clip in the center, you need to turn the, the, uh, the clip to the side and clip it to your shirt. 
just like that and it shouldn't, shouldn't be an issue. But if you need to wear it over on this side and um, you know, it's, it's farther to this side, then you need to point that phone clip at your mouth so that the, the signal is picked up best through the microphones on the phone clip. So the orientation of the phone clip does play a role in the sound quality to the person on the other end that's listening. So another issue that um, may cause someone to complain about sound quality or dropouts is actually related to the, the volume of the sound coming in when they are listening to their wireless accessory. And it's actually related to the mixing ratio of the processor. So the mixing ratio is how much sound you get from the processor versus how much sound you get from the wireless accessory. And for, for children, the default setting is a ratio of one to one. And that means you get 100% of the sound coming from the processor microphones and 100% of the sound coming in through the wireless accessory. So in a situation where you want to um, hear people around you talking as you're also listening to someone talking on the phone, then you want it to be set at one or one to one. To change the accessory mixing ratio using your CR230 Remote Assistant, from the home screen, use the right arrow button and select over until you reach the settings screen. Click OK and you'll find yourself in the telecoil mixing ratio screen. Select over 1 to accessory mixing ratio and you can see that this deals with the input from your processor microphones compared to the input from your accessory. This applies to both wireless accessories and wired accessories. To change the mixing ratio, simply push the up or down arrow buttons to select the number that you prefer. The higher the number, the less input you'll receive from your processor microphones, therefore blocking out the background noise, all the way up to 100% of the sound coming from your accessory and zero from your processor microphones, which is a great tool to use when you want to block out background noise, such as during a telephone conversation.